Natalie Sather here with tonight's A main feature winner at Skagit Speedway, Donnie Schatz. Well, congratulations, Donnie. 18th win of the year. You looked incredible here tonight. Finally got a win at Skagit. Uh, it's one place that's uh, eluded me for a long time, but no longer. It was a great night, uh, great car. We, we had a great lap qualifying. These guys uh, just totally took this thing apart today and started from end to end and got it, got it where it needs to be. So uh, it, was a, it was an awful fun night. Glad to get the win. You slid, I was watching, you were running third, and you slid the 29, and then you slid the 51 a lap later, both in the same corner. Was What was it about that corner? Was it lap traffic that was a little bit heavier there that allowed you to get by those guys? Well, I mean, you need lap traffic anytime you're racing, and those guys weren't getting through it very well, and uh, there was opportunities there for me. So uh, I finally got by them, and uh, I kept going. You know, I tried to get around guys, uh, could run through the middle, could run the top. The car was just uh, phenomenal. Uh, as more, It got better as the race went on, and that's uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, hats off to these guys, the STP team. They've definitely earned it. It seems like every place we go and every time I get to interview you, you seem to be able to put the car anywhere on the racetrack. Is that a contest to you as a driver or as the team? It's a test to the team. You know, these guys work awful hard. Uh, you know, I put a lot of pressure on them to make sure uh, they think it's good, and sometimes we just keep push, putting pressure on them to uh, make it better and better. And, and um, you know, that's something that uh, they've they've adapted to well. Uh, you know, um, they make changes, uh, they make it better, and sometimes we go a little bit uh, beyond where we need to. But that's uh, that's how you win races. Well, congratulations tonight's A main feature winner here at Skagit Speedway, Donnie Shots. Thanks, Donnie. Thanks, I'm Allie. here tonight, second place finisher. Second night in a row for second. Kerry Madsen, you won here last year. You seem to be very consistent when you come to Skagit. Well, the truth is we've got some great draws the last couple of years. But, uh, you know, we had a really great race car tonight. Uh, led for a part of the way. But when we got to lap traffic, just I couldn't make any headway in lap traffic. And uh, Donnie got by me and he just zipped right through traffic and pretty much left us in the Skagit dust. So... We have to take second. Um, thought at the last restart there, at the end, I might have a shot at him, but I needed to go with the big move around the outside, and he kind of took that line away from me, so I just had to settle from second at that point. Sometimes they say it's an advantage maybe running second, especially when you come to lap traffic and see where everybody else isn't. Is that what you think hurt you? You know, usually you're right, but actually I, I, I played it right. Um, I had my game plan that I was going to run the top early. Then when I got to traffic, I was going to switch to the bottom middle, but I just couldn't pass a lap car, and Donnie could. So that's he just smoked us there in the end. Well, congratulations tonight. Second place finisher for the second night in a row here at Skagit Speedway, Kerry Madsen, the Canaric Racing number 29. Thanks, Kerry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here tonight's third place finisher for the second night in a row, Paul McMahon. Will you and your team have been consistent this weekend running third? Yeah, our car's been good all weekend long. You know, we had a really good car at the beginning of the race and uh, was able to jump right into second and then uh, uh, just got running around the top there and, and Donnie showed us the bottom and got, got clear of us and then he, he actually ripped through lap traffic really well. And uh, once I got to back to carry, you know, we both knew that we had to be back down on the bottom. So we, we battled hard. We banged wheels a few times, but uh, a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of clean racing, a lot of hard racing. And, uh, you know, we come home third. So it's not a bad weekend for CJB Motorsports and the whole team. Uh, you know, I got to thank Barry Jackson and Pickles and Jonesy for busting their butt day in and day out while I was out fishing all week this week and uh, you know thank Chad and Jim Clemens for giving me the opportunity to drive their race car. I was watching you at the beginning of the race you were almost cheating the cushion a little bit on entry in one and two and then as the race went on it almost looks like it got loose in the center of the cushion. Yeah I mean I was able to like I said early in the race I was pretty good and, and fairly tight and then as the race went on I got a little bit freer and then I'd, I'd actually when I was trying to cheat I'd slide into it and, and kind of jump over top of it so uh, we just had to adjust our line a little bit there get the wing back a little bit and uh, you know we, we was a good solid you know third place car tonight. Uh, you know, we, we had a shot at second there on the restart with two to go, but uh, wasn't able to clear carry and settle for third. Well, congratulations to tonight's third place finisher, Paul McMahon. Thanks, Paul.